Okay, this video is going to be on Gmail and settings within Gmail. Um, I already did a video on the basics of Gmail, composing, organizing, that kind of thing. So this one is just on the settings. I'm going to show you to do a signature and things like that. Okay, the look of it. Okay, so first we're going to look with these two buttons up here in the upper right hand corner. Obviously log into your Gmail. So this is just a visual of what it could look like. Now I don't have any emails in here, but um, if I take, let's say I take um, this one and I'm gonna move it back into my inbox for just a minute, okay. I can show you kind of what these look like. So no split means that they're just kind of going to be listed here like it looked in my other video. Vertical split, okay, um, is the, the listing over here and then you can read what it says here. Um, and then the horizontal split, again, you can read what it says there. I prefer to see a list, so I like no split, okay. Um, one of the other um, things that you can look at right here is settings. All right, so um, there's some settings here where you can look, make it look a certain way. So comfortable will change what it looks like. It doesn't. It's that's more for if you were showing it on a screen. Cozy is the way it looks. Now, I don't really see much of a difference on my screen, but again, I think that's because you need this for a larger screen. And then compact makes everything a little bit smaller. It more has to do with the fonts and like how large you can see your emails and things like that. Um, configure inbox will just give you, um, it, can, it allows you to maybe put different tabs in. Um, you can have certain things in certain tabs. I don't have mine set up that way, but again, you can do that if you want. Um, themes allows you to choose backgrounds. Okay, you can see I have my own picture here. It does come with some of these other ones, so you could choose a background or something like that and then just save it and then your background will be whatever picture you've selected. All right, settings is where we want to go into a little bit more here. So okay. settings allows you to really configure what your mail is going to look like. Okay, so um, maximum page sizes, um, images. Um, so like images from different emails, if people are sending them or if it's just what they're going to look like. You can change your text style size. Um, conversation view on means if you are going back and forth on emails. So let's say you email um, your colleague and then they email you back and then you email them back and then you and you can see the whole conversation. If you turned that off, you would see um, you would see them all separate, okay, from different people. Um, send an archive means that you, when Basically what happens is when you send an email, you can archive it right away. Um, let's see, you can mark your conversation as read if you want to. Um, I, I don't know why that was like that, but I, I like to keep it to never because sometimes if you read a conversation, you read it and then you don't have time to get back to it. Sometimes people get upset. So I just put it as never. Um, desktop notifications, you can get desktop notifications. So what that means is, see if you look right here, see how it has a zero there. If I keep this open, it'll notify me when a new one comes in. It's just gonna have a number there. It doesn't pop up or anything like that. You could do this only for important emails. So you'd have to mark certain people or certain emails as important. Um, you could just turn notifications off if you want keyboard, shortcuts. Um, I like to have my picture there. Well, my, you know, my icon there. You can put your picture there just like you did, you would with your Google account. Um, and then this is the part I'm sure everybody's really going to want um, is your signature. So down here, all, it's pretty much all the way at the bottom of the settings and mine's a little bit long, but 
you can have your signature set up. So every time you send an email, it pops up. You don't have to type it every single time. And you can just type, you know, whatever you want. I just have my name. Um, I always do my, obviously, my title. And then my website is next to it. Um, I'm also the advisor. So I put that there in the website for that phone number, email. Um, my level one certification, and then my confidentiality notice. This is so I don't have to type it every single time. <laughs> uh, that You could do that in Outlook too. So I just wanted to show you that that was, you know, important to have and that you, you do need that on there. Okay. Um, other thing that you might want is vacation. It's called vacation, but this would be, for example, I'm going um, to a conference in um, December. So I would maybe put one of these up for that conference. So really all you have to do is put vacation respond on. You would put day. So I'll just set it up. Um, I want it on for the 30th and it's only going to go until the third. Um, the subject is um, maybe out of classroom okay and then you would just type thank you for your email i am currently away and will respond as soon as possible or, or something like that oh my gosh you can't type sorry right, something like that okay so you can send this only to the people in your contacts. You could send it only to people in Nazareth Area School District. It kind of depends. If you want it to come through for every email that you get, then it could do that as well. Okay? So I don't want that. <laughs> and then just make sure that anything you change in here, um, whether it be your font, your signature, your vacation response, you just make sure you hit Save Changes. Otherwise, it will not get saved. Um, some of the other things that are in them, I'm going to go back into the settings here. Some of the other things, um, labels you can manage in here. So I showed you how to do labels in the other video, but you can manage them in here. You can create them. You can hide or show the ones that Google sets up for you. Um, you can manage your inbox, similar to the other tab there, but you can manage some of the things within your inbox. Your accounts are listed in here. Um, some of this other stuff you would probably never play around with. Filters and blocked addresses. So let's say that a parent says that um, their email is, you, they've been emailing you, but you have not been getting it. This is where you'd want to go. Filters and blocked addresses. And if you see their, their address here, um, you're going to want to unblock it just so that their emails can come through. Um, if you are getting spam from an email or you just don't want to see the emails from like a certain, I don't know, like a company anymore, if you don't, if you don't want to unsubscribe but you're just tired of seeing them, you could add their email to this. Um, and then some of this other stuff, like you really wouldn't play around with it. Themes is in here if you want to change your theme, okay? So that's settings, and that's how to make some changes within settings. Like I said, this first screen, the general settings, is probably mostly what you will play around with, and don't forget to always hit Save Changes. Okay, thank you, and if you have questions, let me know.